First contact refers to humanity discovering aliens for the first time. The decision we make about the aliens, talk, run or kill, will have a big impact on the future of Earth. So while first contact isn't as life or death as meeting an alien, it is important in your vocabulary recording system for English. And it's the part most students get wrong. Find out why in this video. Hi, my name's Damien and I'm the sledgehammer that smashes down English language barriers. And this series is all about helping you set up the ultimate English vocabulary recording system. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a mistake that students make over and over again, which is really bad for their English. Does this look familiar? Those type of vocabulary books are graveyards. They are where words go to die. Never to be used again. In any good system, you need a process to help you decide what to do with a new word. Let me tell you a secret. Not all words are created equal, but more on that later. So what action should you take when finding a new word or phrase? Paul Nation in his book, Learning Vocabulary in a Second Language, outlines some reasons. Here's an adapted version. You have low interest and high interest words. For low interest, they're usually low frequency words, words you only need to read or hear, you can easily guess the word, and you probably don't feel like learning it. While high interest words, they're high frequency words, words you probably need to use in speaking and writing, it's a useful word for you, and most importantly, you feel like learning it. Let's have a look more closely at some of the reasons for choosing a word or expression. Also, if you're enjoying this video, remember to sledgehammer that like button as it means a lot to my channel and to me personally. High frequency words are words that are used a lot in English. This means you're more likely to hear or read these words in general English. So if you find one of these words and you don't understand it, then it definitely goes into your vocabulary recording system. Most online dictionaries will show you the frequency of a word. Macmillan does it through a star system. Three stars are the most common or the top 2,500 words in English. Two stars are the most common words in English up to 5,000. While one star are the most common words between 5,000 and 7,500 words. And then anything outside of that are less common. For more information, watch Smart Learning with Red Words and Stars in the description below. Here's a little test. For example, how many stars do you think Controversial has? So this word is in the top 5,000, which means it's worthwhile spending more time on it. How about Gobsmacked? Well, this one is low frequency, so it's not really a word that you need to spend time on. Probably a quick translation will do. But there are other reasons for spending more time on a word, which we'll find out about next. Frequency can't be the only factor when deciding whether to spend time on a word or not. If you want to be a hip hop singer, then American rap slang is going to be very important to you. And I can guarantee you're not going to find hip hop slang on a frequency list. Alternatively, if you have a part-time job in the food industry, then specialized food vocabulary becomes important for you. So on top of frequency, think about when, your wants, interests, and needs. And remember, you want to make learning new words fun and relevant to you. Let's look at an example. Chen is a Chinese student, and this is his win chart. Number one, wants. I want to study my marketing masters overseas. Number two, interests. I'm interested in World of Warcraft and language used in that game. 
Number three, needs. I need academic words and technical marketing terms for my masters. Wants, interests and needs will guide Chen's word selection for his vocabulary system. Specialized business vocabulary and online game slang may not be high frequency, but are important to his win. Remember to sledgehammer that subscribe button and I would be honored to continue on this language learning journey with you. Finally, practice, practice, practice. Start now. Write a comment about your own win, wants, interests and needs for choosing new vocabulary. And if you're interested in a full vocabulary system, then check out my book, English Vocabulary Unmasked. And remember, start taking your English mask off today. See you later.